because I would like to explain to you uh, one of uh, of the things that are really complicating this, uh, you know, kids. Uh, because some people have been sending me messages that they really have complications with kids. I need to um, maybe air out or teach you how I manage my kids to make sure that I don't get mortalities over this matter. So um, you bring the camera, let me show you um, how we do it. You see um, the whole house, the whole house is ground house. I think you can see it's a ground house, but for our kids, we keep them up. What are the reasons why we keep the kids up? One, um, kids are weak. These are weak animals. Uh, they are still young, their body immunity is still low. So we really to give them maximum attention, maximum care such that you know they can survive more. What are some of the things that really kill the kids? Is um, one, hygiene. There is some diseases like fleas. Uh, those are parasites. Uh, Close studio also kills um, the kids. But you see how we do um, our housing. If you bring the camera and show these guys how to uh, take care of these kids. Yeah. So here we have, I think you see this is a kid's pen. And uh, what we always do, we put in the, um, the dry grass. What does the dry grass do? The dry grass keeps this place dry. And you know, um, uh, most of the infections cannot uh, multiply in a dry area. So what happens, um, we put the dry grass and make sure that um, these kids stay in a, in, a, in a dry place. So that we don't give any opportunity to any infection to multiply in this house. Whatever kids you see here are below three months. So we keep them under this till when they make uh, three and a half months. We tag them, then we put them out. Some of them that really grow up very well, we can only keep them for uh, two months or two and above. So if the generations are too fast, like, you know, we always have a breeding period of three months. Um, in the breeding period of three months, if all those three months we really have females that got pregnant, that means we shall be producing every after a month. So now here, these are, uh, others are one month, others are two, others are three months. So... If we receive another generation, that means we are going to put these old ones out. What kills these animals? One, worms. Worms is really a very serious burden with these kids. <clears throat> because they are really so weak and their body immunity is low. What do you do with kids? When your kids are produced, let's say today, after two weeks, make sure that you do one thing. With what we call the soft deworming. Give them some liver first, their man like maybe one meal, then every after week, give them, every after two weeks, give them the dewormer. Such that you don't create an opportunity, any opportunity to the worm to uh, overtake the body of the animal. So, um, some other thing, in a week, again, make sure that you get at least two, three days, you give them some vitamin, like AV boost, like introverts, even if injectable uh, vitamin, that really helps that animal to um, uh, do a proper metabolism or to um, digest the food at a high rate. So the moment an animal gets enough of the feed or conversion of the feed, it will really build its immunity. Two, <clears throat> okay, this is like three. Um, make sure these animals, when the mothers are pregnant, vaccinate them for close studios. Um, Vaccinate for closed studios, then after vaccinating for closed studios, let the animals be produced. If the animals are produced, by the time they make two months, again, re-boost them, giving them another closed studio vaccine. That will give immunity to these animals. Those closed studios, like those diorias, most of the diorias are, are, are closed studios. Those inflammations, inflammation of the joints, uh, you know, paralysis of the back, or of the nerve, of the behind legs, those are all most of the time, plus studios can cause that. So what do you do? When they make two months, again, boost them and give them another vaccine. Then, when you have no any epidemic in your area, let's say there is no any outbreak of a certain disease, always start to vaccinate your animals when they make two months. But if there is an outbreak, you can even vaccinate it at one month. So, 
in the management of this thing, one, I told you, make sure that you deworm them every after two weeks. Don't allow an opportunity of the worm. Two, give them some vitamins, which really helps them to boost their immunity and the increase of their metabolism. Make sure you allow them to suckle enough or make sure you give them some feeds. Like for me here, I always give them some silage. When the mothers go, like right now, the mothers have gone, so the silage is within the trough. So when they get out of here, they will be able to uh, go, then have the silage. So those are some of the things. You people, what really most of the time disturbs you is the diarrhea. I told you what you deal with. I told you the drugs that you need to have in your kit when you're expecting babies. I told you expect to have uh, um, what they call gentamicin. Make sure you have Baclin. Make sure you have uh, maybe gentamox. Make sure you have estine. Um, most of the time, sometimes we use gentamox already. And you know it really works for you. But you first try to make sure that you use um, uh, uh, you know, estine tablets or estine drugs. If they fail, then you can use um, at least gentamicin already, and it really <coughs> works very well. So that is how I manage to uh, bring up these kids very well. That is how I try my best. So make sure, follow that, do that as much as possible. It is really going to help you. You remember, all in all, this is the project. This is the main project. This is the project on our side. It's what makes money. I have told you all the procedures that I do then I want you to follow it up and make sure you do it. Thank you very much. Uh, let me just wish you the best.